All right, good morning. Getting ready to go and wash my clothing at the laundromat. No, I don't have one wash and dry in my apartment. We have some in the complex, but I don't do I don't do the I don't do that. Because something go wrong. You gotta wait so long and go through a lot of formality to get your money back. I've been in that situation in the apartment. Have a storm and the power go out and your money go. Anyway. So I go where they have a tip. All right, nevertheless, let's get right to it. Some seem to be surprised that I haven't went back to the local church building yet. Church building. Where you going? To be? You ain't been back to church yet? You been back to church yet? I'm, I'm at the church right now. I'm in the church right now. Sitting up looking at you, drinking coffee. I'm in the church. No, not this building. Yeah. But in the body of Christ, you are God's building. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You're purchased with the blood of the Lamb. All your sin washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you have repented, believe him with all your heart to take away all your sin. Call on him to do so. Hallelujah. I'm in the church right now. I'm in Jesus. I am the church. All right, let's get right to it. Dealing with the coronavirus. I'm not going to no congregation in a location to where you cannot do what Jesus told you to do. And these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick. What if you got sick folks in your congregation? And you say it don't. I saw who that, who that I saw. I saw Bishop. Yeah, I think it was more than I think it was more than put out an advertisement. No touching. The devil is alive. I know you want to follow the health guideline, but what about Jesus guideline? Did nobody say you gotta be coughing and breathing in nobody's face? What if somebody coming down the street and they wanna be saved? What if somebody is sick in the congregation? You can't touch them. You can't lay hands on them. I heard them. I heard not on the board. I heard preachers say that. We we can't cut. We can't cut. We can't get. We can't get at this time. We can't get close to you like we used to. And come pray like we used to. The devil is a lie. What about Jesus? Somebody's sick, you mean you can't go lay hands on them like Jesus said? You know how many people need to be affirmed? I'm not talking for no position. You know how many people just, just need to want to embrace them and hug them and embrace them. What's the Bible too? But don't touch. But you go to the grocery store, Walmart, and everywhere else. You go to your job and everything. Nobody say you how to be how to be coughing in their face. Sister, sister, the, the the first, the first, the first thing, sister, pandemic broke out. The first thing I did was went to the saints' house. I'm not going to get a lot of detail, but a lot of hurt and pain and sickness and bereavement. And I went to the safe house and embraced the bereaved and blessed the bereaved. 
tangibly and lay your hands on the sick laying in the bed. Lay your hands on them that they may recover. Praise God. I went fellowship yesterday. A program, and I'm going to share it on tomorrow, a program that's helping the inmates when the inmates get out of jail. A great program. And I support it. Because you know if it ain't right, I'm not going to support it. But a great program. We fellowship with St. Zan, with three of us. And we fellowship it and conversing it and talking the scripture and so on and so forth. With fellowship with Saint had to go out of town a couple of weeks ago. Go with them to undergird them and take care of some business. Fellowship. Fellowship with the Saint this past week. Call on telephone. Need to go and take care of some. Hallelujah. Uh, situation going on. Know your business what it was. It had to go there with the saints. Not just say, hallelujah, we around sinners. Last Sunday, sinners came over here. And we talked. And talked about the word of God. Praise God. Yes, I know. Have, have help and aid it. Saints and sinners. During the pandemic. We ain't got to be breathing in one another's face. And I don't care what you said. You, you that married. You say that married. You ain't telling me that you uh, that you stand away from your husband and your wife. Don't you tell, you tell that lie to somebody else. But Jesus said they should lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. What about that? But in the congregation, don't touch. People come in, they they, they waited down. They, they need to be embraced. They need to be hugged. They sick, they need hand laid on. In the name of Jesus Christ. What the matter with you? So there you have it. That's the answer. I believe Jesus. No, I ain't gonna be breathing up in your face. No. With or without a man. No. But if a sick need to be healed, if a hand need to be laid on, I'm laying hand. Already done. How much work have y'all did since the pandemic? What Jesus told y'all to do. Well, you see, I, I can't touch you. I, I can't. I can't touch. I can't touch you. Oh, how much work have you done? Pray God. I'm not going to no congregation. They got the rules set up. You can't touch. That's enough of that. God bless you. Thank you for doing.